EA Sports. It's in the game. EA Sports, baby. It's in the game. Madden NFL 2003. Rutherford, New Jersey, Giant Stadium to be exact is the setting for today's game. Glad you could be with us. Tonight's game promises to be a good one. Both teams extremely well prepared as the Buffalo Bills come into town to face the New York Giants. Hi and welcome everyone to another great NFL football telecast brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. I'm Al Michaels joined by John Madden. We've got two great defenses and for this team their anchor up front is this guy. He's got amazing strength, and he can toss an offensive lineman like a rag doll sometimes. And let me tell you, every quarterback knows how hard he can hit. I wouldn't be surprised to see him force some quick throws with his ability to collapse the pocket. Antoine Winfield and the rest of the defense will have to be at the top of their game in this one. He has to expect to see a lot of passes thrown in his direction, and it will be largely up to him to cover the best receiver on the other team. We'll have to see which defense is able to control this game from start to finish. These guys are really fired up, but they got to watch it jumping around like that. They're liable to pull something. Let's go to midfield for the coin toss. Both teams have taken the field and we're ready for tonight's kickoff. Hollis looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. He sends this one toward the end zone. The returner looking for room upfield. Face mask on the defense, number 42. He got his hands on the face mask when trying to make the tackle. Sometimes a defender will go for whatever they can get their hands on. Problem is that time he grabbed a little mask in the process. So we have first and ten here. They line up in the I formation. Steps up. Collins passes to his left. And he hits his target. Hillier displayed great leaping ability to get up and make the catch. Some of these guys have the skills to play other professional sports if they had wanted and really a chance to show off when they do things like that. So they have first and ten here. Ball on the 38-yard line. They line up in the eye formation. Barber to carry and loses one tackler. And it looks like this one will be spotted at the 33-yard line. Second down and five to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. Man in motion. He hands it off, looking for blockers. He went nowhere, John. Went nowhere fast. And they find themselves in scoring range. Brought down at the 19. Effective running there, and they pick up a first down. A few more runs like that, and this defense is going to get an earful from the coach. It's first and 10. Ball on the 19 yard line. Collins gets set. Stop at the 21. Barber was dropped before he could get back to the line. Yeah, you can't run without good blocking. Hey. 
inside the red zone. Throws it. Dane was the intended target. Newman didn't give him a chance on that one. You know, the quarterback needs to put that ball in a position where the defender can't get to it. That didn't happen there. The third down, and they have a long way to go. Quick drop. He's looking. Rolls right. Rolling right. Looking to the middle. And he makes no, he can't hold it in. Flag down. Loss of 15 yards. A penalty, and the offense will have to run that one again. Yeah, and I'm not sure if the offense has something in a playbook that is designed to get him that much yardage. Right. They face with a long third down play here. Looking for an option with the pass. He felt the pressure and got rid of the ball. And that's a right decision in that case. Get rid of the ball and take the incomplete. <laughs> Number two comes into the game to try the field goal. He gets the kickoff. The kick sails through. It's good. So the drive ends, not with a touchdown, but with a field goal. And the coaches will no doubt happy with the three. We'll have to take a look at how to push it down the field all the way the next time for a touchdown. The key to winning is having your drive get some sort of points for your team. They got it done on that drive. I'm sure they'll take a touchdown for their next one. He kicks it off. Rodgers downs it in the end zone. He took a knee in the end zone, and they'll start the drive at the 20. So they have first and 10 here. Ball on their own 20. He gets the catch. Strahan makes the play at the 23-yard line. They get a couple on that play. Right now, they need to keep going with the defense with a run. Sooner or later, they'll be able to break one right. for a big game. Seven yards to go. Ball on their own 23. Bledsoe gives the ball off, and the defender brings him down at the 24-yard line. They're working on the ground. Running the ball consistently is a first step in creating a balanced attack. Third and six. He gets the toss. Missed tackle. And it looks like this one will be spotted at the 32-yard line. have first and ten here. Ball on their own 32. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. Can't bring him down. And he's brought down at the 33. Not much there, but that's not a concern right now. One thing these guys don't want to do is give up in a running game. Because if they do that, they become one-dimensional. And that plays right into the defense's hands. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively, looking for room. Across midfield, and he's tackled at the 45. Personal foul, face mask on the defense, number 58. That'll give the offense some free yardage. That's a disappointing play by the defense. I'm sure the coach will work his team hard this week to avoid that type of thing. First and ten. Man in motion. Looking 
for an opening. To the 20. Still going. Jones makes the tackle at the 14-yard line. Henry, he gets what he needed for the first. That guy has great acceleration. It allows him to stop in a dime and change direction. And we're ready to start the second quarter. It's first and ten. Four-man front this time, using motion. Crosses it back. He's looking up for you. Seahorn records the stop at the 10-yard line. And they went with a run on that play. This is one of those games where you just keep running it at him. Four yards here, five yards there, and loosen him up. And then wham, you knock him out late in the game with that long touchdown run. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. And he stopped at the seven. They ran it there. Yep, that's an important part of this team's offense. Two yards to go. Seven yards to the goal line. Eighth play of the strike. Looking to pass. Looking for an option. Hunts. Michael Strahan wasn't going to be denied his first sack on that play. And it's not so much who gets a sack, but who helped him get it. The defensive line just ate up those blockers, and he was able to get in there. Hey. Hollis heads out to try this field goal. The kick is up. Through the uprights and good. So they ran more than 10 plays on that drive, yet they just couldn't keep it going. And because of that, the drive ends with three points instead of six. What they want to do now is to realize they've established some things on offense and to approve upon them the next drive to get a TD rather than a field goal. He gets the kick away. Carter is heading upfield. Just about ready for the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last drive. First and ten. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. Back to pass. Passing right. Bennett couldn't make the catch. Collins looked a little uncomfortable in the pocket there. It was an easy pass. How the heck did he miss it? Hey. Second down and 10 to go. Four-man front this time. Dropping back. Gets rid of it. Hits the target with the pass. Clements brings him down at the 28. Picked up about six yards that time. Five yards to go. Ball on their own 28. The Giants use motion. He's looking upfield. Runs up the middle. Breaks the tackle. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. That run goes for just a few yards. He was building up some steam, but couldn't keep it going. Yeah, sure looks like this guy's going to be involved in the offense today. Williams is just about ready to punt this one away. Rodgers sets up, waiting for the punt. Rodgers looks this punt into his hands. Missed tackle. The defense were able to keep him out of the end zone on their last possession, but the offense did pick up three. So they have first and ten here. Ball on their own 33. Four-man front this time. Back to pass. Passing to his right. And the catch is made. Thank you. 
Great. Let's check in with Melissa. Well, Al, it doesn't look good. I spoke to the team doctor and he indicated that it's the type of injury that will take some time to heal. They're hopeful that he won't be out long, but his return is doubtful. Thanks, Melissa. Well, that's good news because on the replay, it looked a lot more serious than that. We'll probably miss the rest of the game. So we have first and ten here. And we've reached the two-minute mark here in the first half. Using motion. Searching for a seam. Henry through the middle. About seven yards there. They're just about in field goal range. Four-man front this time. He's going to throw. Passing to his right. And he lets it slip out of his grasp. So he can't bring him in. Any more of those, and he might find himself riding the bench. Third and short coming up. And if they're going to go to the air, you have to think the tight end is the prime target. Third down and three coming up. Ball on the 43-yard line. Bledsoe using split back. Throw it. And it's caught. Barrow is starting to make his presence felt out there. First and ten. Looking to pass. Looking for a receiver. And it looks like there's a penalty on the play. And this pass is completed. Allen makes the tackle at the 24. Offside. Defense. The penalty is declined. I'm sure they'll just go with the regular offense to run the clock down and make sure they're the only ones who can break the tie before halftime. First and ten. The two extra defensive backs. The defense is in the dime. They'll go with a pass. Gets the pass off. Big pop that time. Ted, you talk about your decleaner. That's what happened there. He unloaded and he got a decleaner. Henry is the defense. He's looking to pass. Bledsoe going left with the short pass. And he's tackled at the 10. Reed holds on to the pass thrown over his head. This receiver has great body control. It doesn't seem to matter where it's thrown. He always seems to come up with it. Ball inside the 10. Red zone opportunities are always a big factor, and they should get at least a field goal out of this drive, as long as they're careful with the football. So we have first and ten here. Ball on the ten-yard line. Second play of this drive. He's going to throw. Passing right, and he makes the grab. Short sure, makes the tackle at the six. Timeout called by Buffalo. They have one timeout remaining. I'm sure they'll have one of their receivers running near the sideline. And if they go to him, he's got to look up field because he might be able to take it in for a score. But the defense thinks he's just going to run out of bounds. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. He hits his receiver. The defender was caught out of position on the score. Yeah, the defenders were looking one way while the play was going the other. It's up, and the extra point is good. So they're now up by a touchdown. Hollis looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. He sends it off. Carter will return this one. On their last drive, it was three plays and out, and now the offense comes out onto the field once again. They'll probably be playing a soft zone coverage, so he should have options underneath if they go with the pass. Right. First and ten. Get into it. Get into it. Collins sets up. Looking to throw. Throwing. And 
and it's caught. And it looks like they'll mark it at the 43-yard line. They got to have good clock management if they want to get some points in this drive. And if they can get some, it'll be a big help for them going into half. They're just about in field goal range. right the defense really put the pressure on him. he's lucky he got rid of the ball I tell you he was definitely going to take a sack they'll need some good yardage here on second down and then should be in the hurry up for the rest of this drive right. so it's second and ten Surveying the field. With the throw. Hits the target with the pass. Clements stopped him for his third tackle so far. Still time left. They don't have very far to go. You could see a run or a pass on first down. So it's first and goal. Ball is two and a half yards out. Collins sets up. He's looking to pass. Passing to the middle of the field. I think this is where you bring in one of the two tight ends. Heck, maybe even three. And you try and find one of them open for the score. So it's second and goal. About three for the touchdown. The defense is stacking the line of scrimmage. Looking downfield, rolling out to his right, gets the pass off, he hits his receiver. The defense wasn't ready for that, and they pay the price on the touchdown pass. Looks like everyone did on that throw. It looked like they were about 11 bites. And with that score, the momentum has shifted. The point answer is good. Number two is just about ready to kick this one away. He sends this one toward the end zone. Rodgers will bring this one upfield. They were very effective the last time they had the ball, picking up a lot of yardage through the air as they moved down the field for a touchdown. Chances are they'll throw on this first down play as they try to break the tie before the half. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 28. He's looking. Passes left. He hits his receiver. The quarterback showed you his great arm on that pass. Not only does this guy have a strong arm, but his quick release makes him very tough to say. Right. So they have first and ten here. Ball on the 48-yard line. Surveying the field. Passes left. Molds just couldn't find a way to come up with that one. So the pass falls incomplete in the end zone. This is where the defense needs to just play smart and not give up a big play. There's not a whole lot of time left, so they just need to prevent them from getting into field goal range. With an extra DB, the defense is in the nickel. Looking downfield. Passing to his right. Nice connection. Still running. And it looks like they'll mark it at the 20. They're inside the 20. 
We've reached the halfway point. Quite a contest to this point with the score. New York, 10. Buffalo, 10. Number two is just about ready to kick this one away. He kicks it off. Rogers feels it cleanly. We've got a close one going here. So they have first and ten here. It out there. Henry, the intended receiver. Right. Second down and ten to go. Ball on their own 28. Only one man back. There's a flag on the play. Encroachment, number 92, defense. And he jumps the snap count. Yeah, he jumped early and touched an offensive player, and that forces the officials to blow the whistle. Right. Second and five. Ball on their own 33. Bledsoe gets set. They'll go with the run. He shakes the defender. Jones makes the tackle at the 37. This one stays on the ground. As a coach, you need to make sure that you establish your running game as a weapon that can hurt the other team. Two yards to go. Four-man front this time. Back to pass. Bledsoe passes to his right. Hits the target with the pass. Quick decision by the quarterback on that play. This guy's just like a gunslinger. He's never in a position where he thinks that a throw is impossible. First and ten. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. He's looking upfield. Griffin makes the tackle at the 43. He might have gotten a yard or two. That guy got knocked around by that defense. He needs a little protection from his lineman. And they need about nine. Bledsoe sets up. They'll go with the run. Still running. Jones records the tackle at the 46. He's starting to make his presence felt out there. Only one man in the backfield. Reed moves in motion. Number 38, searching for a seam. Strahan wraps him up and now has four tackles. He couldn't reach the corner on that run. Yeah, as a back, you need to take what the defense is going to give you. That time, they wouldn't give him an inch. Barber lines up deep for the punt return. He'll set up for the return. He had a nice return on that punt. And no matter how good a punt is, it doesn't mean anything if your team can't stop the return. So they have first and ten here. Ball on their own 45. Lining up with their big set this time. Using motion. Hot. 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 
looking for blockers. Newman makes the tackle at the 47-yard line. He's starting to make his presence felt out there. Second and two coming up here. Collins sets up using motion. Dropping back. He goes to the left side. And he makes the grab. Breaks the tackle. And he stops at the 34. And with that catch, he has his first of the day. So they have first and 10 here. Ball on the 34-yard line. They'll go with a pass. Short pass. The defender broke that play up. He's lucky that one wasn't picked off. And when you talk about forcing the pass or forcing the ball in there, that's the kind of play you're talking about. Second and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. Showing good moves. Newman found the ball carrier to make his fourth stop of the game. Right. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Drops back. Throws it. And it's caught. Number 23 brings him down at the 11. He throws a perfect strike. That was one heck of a throw. You could see him setting for the pass, then boom, it was gone. Hey. It's first and 10. Ball on the 11-yard line. Four linemen get three linebackers lined up defensively. Collins gives the ball, breaks the tackle. If you can get into the flow of the game and your yards per carry are this high, then you found a huge weakness in the defense. With second down and one to go. Only one man back using motion. And the quarterback is dropped. He tried to turn it upfield, but didn't have much luck there, John. Yeah, but the defense stayed at home on that play, and they stopped him before he could go too far. At the end of the third quarter, it is still not enough. New York, 10. Buffalo, 10. They're inside the five. Robinson stops the play in the backfield. Loss of about four. Right. Number two is heading onto the field for this field goal attempt. The kick is up. And the kicker got four in that one. And they're able to get some points out of the drive with the successful field goal attack. Yeah, I know they might have liked to have gotten in there for a touchdown. But three points is three points. And sometimes that's all you need. He gets the kick away. Morris feels it cleanly. The Bills will start the drive from the 25 yard line. First and 10. Ball on their own 25. He's looking to pass. Throwing left. And 
handoff, fumble. The Giants grab the live ball. First and ten. Only one man back. Looking to run it here. And he's stopped at the 18-yard line. Face mask on the defense. Number 55. I think he got his face mask in. Some of these defensive players think the face mask is a handle or something. It's first and ten. Four man fighting. He gets the toss. Robinson makes the tackle at the 15. And that tackle gives him three in the game. Inside the 15. They have to start scoring touchdowns once they get inside the 20 yard line. Looking to turn it upfield. And he's brought down at the 8 yard line. They keep pounding the run like this, and the other team is going to have to ask for some extra oxygen on the sideline. A little over four to go. They'll go with a pass. Passing to his right. Toomer couldn't make the catch. A good pass, but no pass. I'm not sure why he dropped that one. The quarterback delivered it right to him. Right. Number two leads the field goal team into the game for the attempt. And it's up. And the kicker got all of that one. Zone drop concludes with a field goal, and they seem to be relatively happy with it. We give credit to the kicker there. It's nice to have a guy that can make your drive worth three, even if you don't get him in the end zone every time. He sends it off. He'll return this one. The offense comes out again after a missed opportunity on the last drive when they fumbled it away. So they have first and ten here. Here, Barrow makes his fifth stop of the game on that play. Five yard loss on the play. Bledsoe gets set. He's going to throw with the pass. Hits the target with the pass. Allen pulls him down at the 37. He pulled the trigger quickly. And as hard as he throws it, he always seems to put the ball right on the receiver's numbers. It's first and ten. Two minutes to go. They have first and ten here. Ball on their own 37. Single, single. Go 
He's looking to pass. Passing to his right. Reamer's move was the intended target. The defense just can't play prevent and then think they can just tighten it up and make a stop at the end. They should play aggressive enough where they can make a play but won't be in position to get burned. Four-man front this time. Drops back. Throwing. Knocked down. He made a great play and broke that pass up. Yeah, just stick your hand in there and whap it down. The quarterback has to remember that he doesn't need to get it all through the air. He doesn't want to try and force one long right. when he's got something underneath. But if the throw goes to the guy underneath, he has to use his legs to get past the marker. They'll go with a pass. Looking for a receiver. Bledsoe passes to his right. Williams takes him down at midfield. He makes his fifth stop of the game on that play. The ball is right at midfield. Drops back. Looking downfield. Pump Aiken. Hamilton reached the quarterback and brought him down. The goal from the I formation. Back to pass. Throwing. And it's complete. Loses one tackler. Jones is in on the play again for another tick on the stat sheet. Less than a yard to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. And this is the seventh play of this drive. He's going to throw. Looking for an option. Bledsoe with the pass. Allen found the ball carrier to make his fourth stop of the game. Inside enemy territory. Eighth play of this drive. He's going to throw. Passes left. And it's caught. He can't wrap him up. And he's tackled at the nine. Timeout called by Buffalo. They have one timeout remaining. They have four downs to try to get the touchdown and take the lead. I think there's even enough time to try and run. But if they don't get in, they better have another play already called. Ninth play of this drive. Back to pass with the pass. So they couldn't get it in on their first play. Now what? What you'd like is for your best receiver to draw single coverage. Then toss one to him and have him make a play for it. Second and goal. Ball on the nine-yard line. Set. Looking for blocker. Short. Stops him at the six. He tried to find a hole and just got what he could. Yeah, he tried to stretch it outside. But the defense was quick to react to the play. And even quicker to move off their blocks and get in position to cover the hole. He's looking. Keith Hamilton reached the quarterback and brought him down. It's fourth and goal coming up here. Looking to throw. Passes it. And it's caught. The offense coming out onto the field after their defense made a great stop. That's the type of defense a coach loves when they get close to the end zone. Stop them from scoring at all costs. They've got the lead in the ball, so they should just be calling dive plays to run out the clock. Inside their own 20. Man in motion. With the carry. Newman laid a good hit on him there for his fifth tackle of the game. They'll come out running here to wind the clock down. in their own territory. Looking for an opening. Clements was in on the play again for another tick on the stat sheet. Another good gain on the ground by this offense. They came here with a plan and they're sticking to it. It's important to pound the defense with a run. Sooner or later, they're going to bend. Inside their own 20. The Giants are in the offset eye formation. Can't bring him down. The Bills grab the live ball. Great play by the defense to recover the fumble. Yeah, they were right there to jump on the ball.
they don't have much of a choice now except to just throw one up and hope it gets them the touchdown. Stranger things have happened. Whether it's knocked down or caught, one of these teams will win when the clock hits zero. It's just a matter of which one makes the play. With two extra defensive backs, the defense is in the dime, looking for an option. With the throw, Moles was the intended receiver. The final score is New York 16, Buffalo 10.